Hi everyone, it's Joy here for Chibitronics. My project for you today is a cute little scene card showing off some light up stars in the sky. I used the pressure sensitive conductive plastic to make the lights come on at separate times. So first I'm gonna start with coloring my images for the scene. I am using Lawn Fawn's Superstar and Upon a Star stamps and coordinating dies. I'm using Copic markers to color these images. And so for the cute little telescope, I'm using YR0000, then 00, and then 02. For this cute little mouse, I'm using E31, 33, 37, and 35. Then for all of the stars, I'm actually just going to use C1. It's a real light gray. I don't wanna add colors to this because I want the lights to shine through but I wanted to give it a little bit of shadow, so I will come in with that. I also forgot to stamp a couple of my images, and so I'm going to uh, stamp the cute little bunny and the little fox from uh, Upon a Star, because they are gonna be watching the stars as well. So I'm just gonna color those. For that little fox, I am using YR24, 27, and E19, and then that little bunny is going to be W3, 5, and 7. I will use the coordinating dies to die cut out all of these images. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am using Chibitronics Pressure Sensitive Conductive Plastic. So this is going to, when you press down on the battery, instead of all the lights coming on at one time, they kind of come on at a separate time which is really fun for this card. Now I'm going to make my nighttime sky. I am using Blueprint Sketch, Prize Ribbon, and Chip Sapphire. Now Blueprint Sketch and Prize Ribbon are pretty close in color, but I liked them all mixed together. And then I came in with a little bit of black soot at the end and just made it a little bit darker around the edges. And as you can see, I'm not trying to blend it nice and neat together because I kind of want a little bit of a variation. It still is a pretty smooth blend. I think I would have liked a little bit more variation, but it kind of is what it is, and I like, I really like how it turned out. So there's the black soot that I did a little bit around all of the edges. I'm going to put this in a box. I'm using some sheer uh, shimmer spray, spraying over the whole background, and then I'm coming in with the Distressed Spray Stain and Picket Fence. I'm using a really small paintbrush, and as you can see, I'm just kind of going in a line. I almost want it to look like the Milky Way in a way, I don't want white spots all over my whole background. I want it to look like these are all the stars in this little area of the sky. I'm just gonna hit that with my heat tool to speed up the dry time. I'm going to put this aside and I have die cut from my favorite things, Grassy Hills die, two pieces of grass, and I'm coming in with Rustic Wilderness, and I'm going to ink up both of those layers. I will add a little bit of black soot to the front layer just to darken that up a little, but I really liked this Rustic Wilderness. I thought it was kind of a muted green in a way, so it wasn't super bright because this, again, is nighttime, and so I wanted this grass to be a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna clean up my area and then come in with that black soot along the bottom and just blend that in to my rustic wilderness. And then you can see how those two pieces look together and we have a nice little layer. So I'm going to lay out my stars and my little image because I need to know where these are going to be. I'm gonna use uh, a pencil to mark where my stars are. So that way I know where to pierce the holes so I can mark the background and also be able to see the light coming through on this darker cardstock. So I'm just using my pencil. I did mark underneath this heart, but I actually ended up not putting lights around that because it was just too tight of a fit when I tried to lay that out. I'm going to place my cardstock on a, uh, I kind of have like a big piece of foam and I'm just using my piercing tool and just piercing that through. This is Spellbinder's tool in one. And I'm just gonna pierce those holes where I marked it and then I can line this up on my background piece of paper where all of the circuitry is going to be and just mark that with a pencil. So that I've lined that up here and I'm just coming in and marking so I know where my lights need to be. So now I'm going to cut the little housing piece 
for my battery. But first I wanna show you the pressure sensitive conductive plastic. You get two sheets of this and it is large and I only need a tiny little square piece that's actually going to fit in with the battery. It's really kind of soft and flimsy, but it is plastic. So here is the battery that I'm using and this is a, oh, what kind of battery is this? This is a three volt lithium battery. I put that inside of a piece of paper, just folded it in half and trimmed it down, and that is what's going to house the battery, basically. So I'm gonna tape that down in the bottom left-hand corner, then I'm coming in with my copper tape. Now, I had to do this twice because the first time I tried to go around where that heart star was, and I had to change that up. So I'm just gonna show you how I started by putting the negative line on the bottom piece, then I'm coming in with the positive line on the top piece and, and both inside of that housing mechanism for the battery has the copper tape, has the positive and the negative. So here's my second try because the first try just did not work. I could not get it to, uh, you know, lay out properly. So I'm just going to skip doing all of the hearts and I'm going to work around the rest of the stars. I will have some uh, lights, two white lights actually, kind of on the left side of the heart, which works out perfectly. So the first line I laid down was the positive, and then here is the negative. You just kind of fold it, lay it down. When you change directions, you fold it the opposite way, and then fold it back in the direction you want to go, making sure that neither of the lines are touching each other. Now I'm going to come in with the lights. I am using blue orange, green, white, yellow, and purple. And you can see there I have actually had two pieces of that uh, black conductive tape, or excuse me, conductive plastic. Inside, I actually ended up only using one piece on top. Then I'm coming in with three layers of foam tape. It needs to be at least three layers to so that way you have room to put your top card base on without it constantly pushing down on your battery, if that makes sense. You need to have room that you have to push the battery to make the lights go. So now that that's all laid out, I'm going to put my top panel on, and then when you push that button, all of those lights light up, and it's so super cute. I'm going to glue the two pieces of cardstock together and just adhere that at, to the bottom of the card panel. Then I wanna come in with all of my stars. Now when I'm adhering this down, I'm just using some liquid glue. I'm not putting it in the center, I'm kinda of putting it on the outside edge. I just didn't want any glue to get down into the hole and accidentally get on the light. I don't know if that would do anything, but I really wanted to avoid that. But that is looking really cute so far. And then we're gonna put that tiny little mouse and his cute telescope, and we're gonna glue those down and tuck them in those two layers of grass. Now I did stamp the sentiment, try to stamp the sentiment on the background. I should have done that before I adhered it to the whole card base because it's really thick and it just wasn't getting enough pressure to stamp a full image. So I ended up stamping it onto this piece of cardstock and I'm going to kind of ink blend it the way I did the background. So you can see on the card there on the top left, I just couldn't get a good solid image and I didn't want to keep pushing down and ruin the card. So I just was getting excited about putting the card together and forgot I needed to stamp the sentiment first. I also stamped the push me sentiment uh, on the bottom there so, some, so your recipient knows to give that a push so it lights up. Then I'm gonna finish gluing the rest of these cute little guys on and then I'm coming in with my black glaze pen adding that to the eyes of the critters, coming in with a white gel pen adding highlights to all of the little critters and the telescope and then a few white dots going in with all of the stars across the sky. This is a really simple scene and I wanted to keep it kind of simple because I wanted it to be all about the nighttime sky. So here it's done in the light and then I shut off all my lights and here it is lit up and it's so, so cute and so pretty. I love how this card turned out. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I will see you guys soon. Bye.